Hey, good morning, guys. It's Saturday morning here at the uh, Old Barn Homestead. My name is Gary, for those of you guys that are just joining the channel. Um, this is the kind of crap I get into that, you know, you end up wasting a bunch of time, not making any money, trying to help somebody out. So I figured I would, you know, bring you guys along on this. So I was in Fastenal getting some uh, fasteners, of course, for the table kits, the couple, three or four that I've sold. Um, and there was a guy in there trying to buy some kind of a coupler adapter and they, they didn't have, have it and couldn't order it. Um, and this is what it is. He's got this tubing here that um, hopefully that's showing up. It's, a, it's basically half inch OD tubing that someone uh turned thread or you know threaded the uh ran a die over it and threaded the ends for him he didn't really say who did that he just bought the tubing and and had somebody do that well what he wanted to do was was have a quarter 20 set of threads on the end like that and he he had a bolt and i said wait you know i could just weld that up for you if you want to bring it out to the shop i can take care of that now you know, welding that on there, um, is that the greatest thing in the world? No. I mean, it would have been better to make, you know, turn some kind of an adapter on the lathe that had, you know, female half-inch threads that would come up on here and male threads coming up on, you know, coming out there. But, um, you know, he... Um, so, anyway, um, I went ahead and welded it on there for him on this end and he said there was a you know half inch nut that needed to go on it and um so i screwed the nut on first before i welded it thinking that i would use that nut to you know come across and clean up the you know the threads if if i got any weld on them or whatever well i couldn't get the nut off it you know there was enough distortion and stuff at the end of the thread there that the nut wouldn't come off and he needed it to, to be able to come off and on so um what I did then was uh, took it over and chucked this whole thing up in the lathe and was just going to turn the end of the threads down. And it was working. I was turning them down just to, you know, the last couple of threads, turn them off and, and turn off the uh, weld that had, had built up there. Well, as I was doing that, you know, because it's so thin, I didn't realize I was taking some baby cuts. It just popped it, broke it off of there. So now what was going to be, you know, a $15, $20 job to weld something for somebody really quick has turned into, you know, a more serious job. And now I'm spending, you know, an hour or so on the lathe. And so I made this, I took a piece of solid and uh, made a, made this, I, I wish I had some three quarter inch solid stock. I would have, you know, or, or maybe even one inch, I would have, you know, made something that, that was the nut and this adapter all together, but I don't. So anyway, this is what I got so far. Now, well, one thing I'm going to do that he didn't, you know, I wasn't originally going to do. So I'll weld that. I'll weld that on there. And um, actually, it goes on this way. So I'll, I'll weld that on like that. And now this is going to be one piece. And then, um, but before I weld it on, I'm going to... Uh, you know, go ahead and thread this, this half inch section and the jam nut, this half inch nut that goes on here only needs to go up to there. So this well that'll be above it, I won't have to turn it on the lathe or, or do anything to clean it up. And, um, the other thing that he wants is this has got to have a cord. This goes to a, some kind of antique chandelier and he wants a lamp cord to be able to come down in this and exit out. So this is the part that I wasn't originally going to do, but since I'm making this, I thought, well, what the heck? He was talking about drilling a hole in the threads on, you know, this end himself. And, you know, I've got a mill. I can throw this in there and mill a little slot in it. Um, you know, the internal diameter, this is three eighths. Um, you know, I could mill a three eighths inch slot so he can get the, the cord out. Anyway, so I'll, I'll keep you guys posted and show you the uh, the repair once I get it done. You guys have seen me do this kind of stuff a lot, so I'm not going to film doing it. And then later, I'll uh, today I'm going to be going to the paint booth to do some painting, so I'll probably bring you along for that. And I'm thinking about even doing a live video from there using the live feature that you can now do on mobile devices 
um, on YouTube. So, um, but I think you have to have above 10,000 subscribers and I only, I only have like 1800 on this channel. And so I may not be able to do it, but we'll see. All right. We'll show you later on the progress that we make. All right. I just got a little three eighths, uh, end mill in there, just kind of plunging into it. And I've got it chucked up in a drill chuck. I know I'm going really easy with it. I figured it'd be better to put this hole in there first and then come through and um, re-drill the inside to, to clean it up and, uh, and then run the threads on the outside. I just kind of eyeballed the center of that and looks like it's slightly off center, but I think it'll work. All right. By the way, nobody has ever pointed this out in the video. You guys point out all the safety stuff all the time, but the guard has been missing off of this for a long time. And you think about this, I mean, you're standing right here with your, your face right in front of this pulley. I mean, the, the simplest thing that could happen is the belt would break and come and hit you in the face, which, you know, probably wouldn't feel good, but probably wouldn't kill you. The second thing is, I mean, what if something happened with this whole assembly and it, yeah, I need to make a guard for that. I'm really disappointed you guys didn't get on to me about it before me having to point it out to you. All right, well. The piece I was working on when you last saw me was this piece. You saw me putting that hole in there. And I I guess I had it not quite centered and those threads were really thin. So yeah, that didn't go well. One thing he said was that this section here could be any size that you know we wanted it to be. So, you know, because this is this was a half inch here, and this is half inch, when you cut the threads into it, it's just super thin. So trying to weld something to it or whatever was always going to be an issue so i took a piece of one inch which is all i had above this and turned it down all as one piece so there's a half inch uh, hole so it's a slip fit in this section here which you know will help make it concentric with with the shaft which you know it doesn't really matter if that's it's that perfect and we've got the quarter 20 and the half inch or the uh five eighths and that leaves enough wall thickness in there uh to have the the whole board down the center and an opening for the wire to come out so now i'm just going to pop this down into one of the holes here like that and then just tig weld that up and this will be good and because i'm not welding on the threads this is i think it looks like about a 65 thousandths wall thickness or a sixteenth of an inch per side uh half inch od three eighths id so that should weld up pretty nicely there and not have any issues with it wanting to blow through or anything. So we'll, uh, we'll see. I'll set the camera up and uh, let you come weld it with me.
All right, well, got that uh, all repaired. Looks pretty good to me. I had one little spot right there that nipped down off of the edge. I was trying to keep it up on that ledge there. You know, not as good as uh, Texas Viking, but not bad for us over here. Um, I've been meaning to paint these flags. I went, I actually was going to paint them one night this week and got over there and noticed a few places where there was some black stuff um, where the person that did the grinding on these ran the grinder disc, you know, wore it out and the uh, arbor post was getting into it and leaving little black marks in it. So you couldn't really see it uh, from a lot of angles, but some angles you could. And the bad thing is if you paint it like that, it's just gonna show right up in the clear if it's a section that you know doesn't get any color on it just gets the clear if it was where the blue is or whatever it's no big deal you know but if it's where the clear is going right over the metal yep it'll look like crap or you know it won't look like crap but it just won't look as good as it could so gregory and john hopefully you're watching this video sorry guys i i really really had intention of getting these done before now and just just hadn't done it but just uh Know that I'm getting on it today, Saturday afternoon, and we'll get these painted up and shipped out next week. So um, I'm going to upload this one now, and I may make another one over at the paint booth and um, do the live thing. We'll see. All right, guys. Hope everybody's doing good on a Saturday.